my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Wait. Has your research turned up anything? Oh god, is this where part where he's going to try and gouge out our eye? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Uh... How many times have you done this? Will in the background. <laughs> I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Uh, I'd, r I'd rather get a second opinion. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Uh. Uh. No. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. All right, let's see what he does. Quite the cozy setup, you. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye, then reaching into his bag. He produces an ice pick. slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Oh, God. Hold your breath. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then... Oh, God. Tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run! <laughs> I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret! He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You knocked out my bloody... You knocked my bloody eye out! Please, try not to overexert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. I can't help but feel partly responsible. Perhaps there is something more I can do. Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta!
speak. Huh. Don't know if that was worth it. I mean, I got a little bit of disapproval from them, but I don't have any disadvantages. I can now see invisibility. He got a stand normal eye now. Ah, well, uh, hmm. Well, I was thinking that it was going to give me a uh, plus one to charisma. Because that's what it did in the early access. But oh my goodness gracious. Um,. That's interesting, though. That's intriguing. So either we take the sea invisibility and lose out on our, our uh, other good-looking eye. So, so let's look, let's look at the downsides here. Look at the down. Let's look at the downsides. Here. Or hold on, you know what? Well, I can I, I can still see that creature, so. Volo's not here anymore. Hmm. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the absolute. To infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. That's that remains to be seen. I still don't trust this dream visitor's intentions. I suppose you're right. We still see only a part of the picture, however much our visitor claims to show the full vista of options at our disposal. I can't deny my curiosity, but as you say, no harm in delaying it for now, at least. Oh my god, that little bug is that bug is annoying me. Ripe 
Okay. I'm wondering if that's like um I'm gonna make a hard save here. Oh, I still haven't talked to everybody yet though. Still haven't talked to Will. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. I had another dream last night. I mean, the visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. I'd sooner avoid the... Uh... Uh, these powers of Ukan. I feel like we're being led into a trap. Then we do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly, if you must use them at all. My guess is it unlocked an outer tier of. So I'm going to make a quick save here. Okay, so he was actually watching. I thought it was just an. Uh, it was, it was, uh, I thought it, it's just an animation. <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant. Um. Anyways. bad enough having just one of those tadpoles forced upon us. I can scarcely believe you actually inflicted another on yourself. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. The other, um, yeah. The odds are stacked against us. Can we truly afford to ignore a potential advantage? you have a point fine let's explore these powers then I just hope we don't come to regret it fine what's on your mind how are you holding up This is definitely interesting. The first attack roll or ability check you make against an enemy a target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency.
Okay, so I still have it. Uh. Feeling illicit? Oh, uh, about our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illicit into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Your choice, but I think the tadpoles might make me, uh, tadpoles make me stronger. Or not at all. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. Well, no tentacles yet. I suppose we can consider that a success. Kinja, no good will come of devouring a gay worm, no matter what you might think. Have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. I Maybe absolutely 100% agree. Out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gay tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. We, if we must bear the tadpoles' burdens, we should also avail ourselves of their power. Woo! Perhaps you... No, that's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. Anyways, uh, the cult of the Absolute is dangerous. We should take all the help we can get. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. Gone gods. Watching you consume that tadpole was more disgusting than the tadpole itself. Though, I suppose that's not what you wanted to talk about. What do you think of the Ilhid's potential? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. Yes. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you take an Ilithid by the Talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Uh, you've seen how dangerous these absolute ghosts are. We need the extra help. I'm more than a bit wary. I admit. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. Come on, then. Don't leave me in suspense. How are you feeling? No errant tentacles? No sudden cravings for a more cerebral diet? 
Yeah, not even an, not even an evil playthrough am I gonna play with worms. Other than you mentioned, I do feel a sudden unrelenting urge to crack open your. Uh, never mind. Replete with ribaldry as always. Well. You could provide no better proof that you are not, in fact, about to turn into a mind flare. Famously humorless, Elithids. The tyrannical enslavement of all other living creatures hardly lends itself to levity. Should your wit begin to suffer, only then must we worry. Was there another matter you wish to discuss? Oh... Even after all that, I'm probably going to go ahead and reload and be like, nope. The tadpoles are a trap. They are a massive trap. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, I've been doing, I've been doing well so far, so. Once things start getting absolutely difficult, then I will consider doing a, ta uh, doing a tadpole. Giggity. Oh. Uh, the moment I saw the mechanic, I automatically knew it was going to play into something bad. Yeah. Anyways, who's ready to who's go who's ready to kill Granny? Eating my sandwich. Ah, uh, speaking of food, chat. I've eaten, however, I need to grab a little bit more food. Uh, break time. <laughs> 